Hello and welcome. You're watching UATV News with me, Ksenia Buhai. First, this hour, the latest developments from Ukraine. Negotiations with the International Monetary Fund in terms of the state budget of Ukraine for 2021 were successful. This was reported by the Ministry of Finance of Ukraine. The government says that the fund approved the main macroeconomic indicators included in the document, revenue and expenditure, as well as the deficit. This paved the way for the next stage of cooperation under the standby program. The IMF may conduct a mission in Ukraine in the nearest future. The success of the mission will give the green light not only for the next tranche of the IMF, but also for assistance from other international institutions. The financial assistance that President Volodymyr Zelensky spoke about during the Ukraine EU forum held in October this year concerned the sum of one and a half billion US dollars, which were to go to Ukraine in two tranches. I would suggest that by the end of the year we may receive at least one tranche of this amount. In particular, 750 million US dollars can be allocated to Ukraine as an additional credit resource. In the first quarter of 2021, 8 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine are expected in Ukraine. This means that at least 4 million Ukrainians will receive immunity from COVID-19. Our correspondent found out who will get the vaccination first. Several big pharmaceutical companies declare that a vaccine against coronavirus is ready. I think they've done a fantastic job. Look, I think, you know, they've done a remarkable job. I think it's been a great team effort. I mean, people on both of our sides and the AstraZeneca team and the Oxford team have been working 24-7 since the beginning of the year. Um, and I think this is the culmination or one part of the culmination of that work. Um, we clearly have a vaccine that is going to be effective. The Minister of Health notes that three vaccine manufacturers guarantee a high percentage of protection against coronavirus at the moment. Their effectiveness is estimated from 80 to 95 percent. The drugs are now being certified. After that, mass production will start. 20 million doses will be produced before the new year, as part of the COVAX Global Initiative, which should provide all countries of the world with the coronavirus vaccine. Ukraine will receive over 1 million doses. Our medical staff is first in line for vaccinations, as well as our military and teachers, those who are at risk. The Ministry of Health expects to receive 8 million doses for free. This means 4 million Ukrainians would be vaccinated. Most likely the vaccines will be in Ukraine in large quantities in May-June of 2021. According to a poll by the Kyiv International Institute of Sociology, 47% of Ukrainians are ready for vaccination. 42% are not going to take vaccines, 11% are still thinking. You can't say that if you get a shot, you can already neglect simple rules, like a mask or respirator or washing hands. This will be totally impractical. The vaccination will be done in family clinics. The estimated cost of a complete vaccine package is $14. But only within the frameworks of the International COVAX project, the Ministry of Health informs. The market price of vaccination starts from $18 for a dose. Reported by Vadim Kramer in the Mazurkevich UATV News. Up next, five real stories about domestic violence. How the World Theatre, together with the UN assistance, has created an interactive play titled new scars. It is dedicated to the 16 Days Against Violence International Action, which takes place annually from November 25th to December 10th. Also say that the project was created so that women can see that this can be talked about. Our journalists attended the premiere. I know that you will beat me now, but children are here. Five women living in 12 square meters of flat. They are of different ages and status, but all are forced to hide from domestic tyrants. The play takes place during the quarantine period when cases of domestic violence have increased. Real stories were collected by director Natalia Sivanenko. Strangulation, beating up to the loss of consciousness, violence, beating of children. This is a deprivation of any human. 
human rights. This is the second project of the Wild Theatre in cooperation with the UN. The international organization says the situation with domestic violence during the coronavirus pandemic around the world has become catastrophic. In comparison with the last year, the national police registers a 54% increase in cases of domestic violence. Calls also doubled, 34 southern restrictions were issued. Anna plays a pregnant woman who fled her husband, who used to beat her. It is very important for me to find the logic of the character and present it to the viewer. The viewer has to cry, not me. Then maybe something happens to him. He will understand that it is not normal and that beating of women and children is not something to be tolerated. The actor is anchored four times. Each story caused both love and tears. The heroines make it clear there is a way out. A lot of women have experienced this, and most of them are just afraid to talk about it. They are ashamed to tell a psychologist about their problem, and this performance helps to show this pain, these problems. A woman in such a situation is not alone. The play New Scars will be demonstrated online on the Facebook page of the Wild Theatre or on YouTube. There is also an interactive version where viewers can choose one of 29 scenarios for the development of the fate of five heroines. Reported by Vadim Kramer in Esazanina, UATV News. Ukrainian documentary The Earth is Blue Like an Orange, directed by Irina Tsilik, is coming out on big screens. This is a story about a family living in Krasnohorivka town, located 30 kilometers away from Donetsk. Details next. The family living in Krasnohorivka constantly faces energy and water outages in their native town. Moreover, it is hard to find job here. The main character of the documentary, 37-year-old Anna, brings up five children. The mother and children shoot amateur family video. Film director Irina Tsilik turned Anna's house into a film set for a year. This is how The Earth is Blue as an Origin documentary appeared. The documentary is about ordinary people living in the area of hostilities. He tells a story about a strong woman who does not just bring up children but fills their life with joy. Filmmaking process is also shown in the documentary. Anna's eldest daughter, Miroslava, was the first to start making home videos. Now she's a student at Kyiv University. The girl is studying at the cinematography department. She says that the most difficult scene in the movie for her was the entrance exam. I was very nervous during shooting the admission scene. I did not want to do it. I filmed how my mother is waiting for me in the front of the university, how much she worries. Anna is the main character, a mother of many children managed to learn a video editing program during amateur filming. She says that filming videos became a kind of therapy for her and her children. Anna called it an attempt to preserve a taste for life in difficult and sometimes dramatic life circumstances. The main thing in this movie is faith in oneself, faith in loved ones, faith in tomorrow. Don't give up, no matter what happens, and do not feel sorry for yourself. Accept circumstances as they are, fight them, keep walking and believe in yourself. Irina Tsilik's movie won a prize at the Sundance Film Festival for Best Direction in the World Documentary category. The film received its awards in Ukraine as well. It shows amazing directorial skills, I just don't understand how they shot it all. You believe in these people, you have sympathy for them. And after watching, there is a good feeling in any, even in the most difficult circumstances. There is always a light at the end of a long tunnel. It usually depends on people. A series of special screenings of The Earth is Blue Like an Orange will take place in Ukrainian cinemas. It will be attended by representatives of the film's creative team as well. Reported by Vadim Kramer, Svetlana Sich, UATV News. Healing mixtures for medical workers. They are made by LWIF volunteers and are delivered to the main hospitals of the city. The treats for doctors are made of lemon, ginger and honey. Our correspondents found out, do those mixtures help during a pandemic? The recipe for this mixture is the following 1 kg of lemons, 
400 grams of ginger and about a liter of honey. Lemon and ginger are mixed in a meat grinder and poured with honey. This delicacy strengthens the immune system, respiratory tract and gives the body strength to fight viruses. It is not a problem to make such a mixture and it is not difficult to get these components. They are not chemical, they are natural. This is the most important thing and meat can be used in any form, whether added to tea or coffee or just with water. Some even eat it with spoons. Olha has been making the health mixtures for six years. Besides, all this time she's been sending them to the front line for Ukrainian military. When the pandemic began, she realized that now the medical front also needs her help. You see, they can buy it as well, organize or make tea for themselves. The most important thing for them, especially now, as well as for the fighters, is the support, understanding that they were not left alone in the fight against this virus, that they are cared for by ordinary people. Every week volunteers make 40 kilograms of the healing mixture. It is taken to all Lviv hospitals, where doctors are fighting for the lives of patients with COVID-19. There is ginger, honey and lemon. We have the epidemic season now, and the flu and other respiratory viral infections and COVID-19, a pandemic that continues. This is an instrument that helps to increase immunity and doctors' mood, so that they continue working in such difficult conditions. They are working nine months in a row, every day and night. Volunteers raise money for ingredients for a healthy mixture in social networks. And everyone can join this good process. Reported by Vadim Kramer, Yule Bil, UATV News. That was our final story this hour. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy. More updates on our official website, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter pages.